Welcome back to Movie Mojo. Today we are going to review the comedy horror film, Life After Beth. If you like our content don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. Aubrey Plaza plays Beth Slocum, a woman who is seen in the opening scene using her phone while strolling through the woods. She turns around because she believes she heard something, then keeps moving forward. Dane DeHaan, her lover Zach Orfman, is in the grocery store shopping for black napkins. He is limited to using beige napkins. He attends Beth's funeral because she died after being bitten by a snake. Zach receives sympathy from everyone. Later, he visits Beth's house to play chess with her parents, Jeannie and Maury, John C. Riley and Molly Shannon. Zach and Maury share a joint when Maury pulls one out. Zach acknowledges that their relationship had some issues before Beth passed away. According to Maury, Beth told him to stop bothering her in her final words. He advises Zach not to let incidents like that sum up their entire relationship with someone. Zach receives one of Beth's scarves from Jeannie as a memento. Zach is still a wreck despite his family's advice to move on. The Slocum cease speaking to Zach and don't return his calls. When he arrives to pay them a visit, they refuse to let him in. He catches a glimpse of Beth going through the hallways one day through the window. Zach is terrified and bangs on the door. Security guard brother Kyle, Matthew Gray Goobler, approaches and threatens to have Zach jailed. He visits Beth's grave and notices a sizable hole in the ground, which only serves to confirm his suspicions. Even as Maury tries to drive Zach away, he eventually succeeds in entering the Slocum home. Jeannie is attempting to shove Beth into the closet, which would make them confess, when he sees it. Being able to see his sweetheart alive fills Zach both joy and alarm. Beth claims that she has a test to study for the next day and that she has no memory of having died. She misinterprets Zach's interrogation as indicating that he wants to end their relationship or that he thinks she cheated on him. In defiance of her parents' wishes, Zach chooses to hang out with Beth, taking her swimming and having sex in the park. She later returns home with a scorching sore on her face after he happens to spot the snake bite in her skin. Zach brings Beth to the beach one evening. He starts to sing a song he penned to her, but she despises it so much that it irritates her. She begins tearing apart the lifeguard stand, setting it ablaze. Beth is taken back to the car by Zach after he tries to calm her down. She uses her elbow to smash the window just as he turns around, believing that he was already attempting to leave her. People in the village begin acting strangely, displaying mood swings and disoriented behavior similar to Beth. Zach visits a diner because he wants to get away from Beth. He runs across Erica Wexler, an old childhood acquaintance, there, Anna Kendrick. She joins him in his chair and expresses her sorrow about Beth. Zach finds it difficult to explain to her what is happening and that he has since preferred that Beth remain dead. After their supper is complete, Zach unintentionally knocks Beth over with his vehicle. She is fine, but she shouts at those who try to aid her, scaring them away. When she believes Zach has taken her position, she even scares Erica. Zach then drives her to the cemetery where he reveals the truth about her demise. She becomes enraged by this and snatches his car. Since Zach's deceased grandfather is now a reanimated corpse and is seated in their living room, Kyle and their parents are in a state of terror as Zach walks home and notices this. The former homeowners then come inside. Kyle tries to shoot them, but they are unaffected. Actually, they're just grumpy dead people, not flesh-eating zombies. Then, Maury arrives to pick up Zach and inform him that this is all his fault because he went and told Beth about her passing. He wants Zach to tell her a lie and say that he made up the tale of her passing. They decide to have Maury contact Perline, their old housekeeper, because Perline is Haitian and might know something about putting a halt to zombies. They return to the Slocum residence, where Beth smashes through the glass and returns covered in blood. Zach drives her inside. When Zach goes to a motel to look for Perline, he discovers her cousin instead. This cousin finds it disrespectful that anyone would presume they are knowledgeable about voodoo or zombies just because they are Haitian. Perline quit working for the Slocums because Maury wanted her to wander around naked, according to the cousin, who claims that Perline had nothing to do with what was going on. Zack is left with no solutions. When Maury arrives, he knocks Zack unconscious and takes Beth with him. Zack returns home and discovers someone there before they flee. Burned bodies may be seen in the backyard, leading Zack to believe his family has perished. He prepares to leave town and packs his bags, but he changes his mind and returns to Beth's house. After eating Maury, which resulted in Jeannie strapping her to the stove, she has now officially transformed into a mindless, bloodthirsty zombie. Jeannie is persuaded by Zach to let him take Beth with him. 
she is informed that they will go hiking. Kyle appears outside and begins shooting zombies that get in his way. Zack is informed by him that their parents are still alive and are secure in a safe house. He hands Zack his revolver and advises him to release Beth. When they reach a cliff and pause to take in the vista, Zack is hiking with Beth. He apologizes profusely for not fulfilling all of Beth's wishes while she was still living. When he declares his love for her, Beth is able to reply, I love you too. After shooting Beth in the head, her body tumbles down the slope while being crushed by the stove. In addition to Zack finding the safe house and rejoining his family, Erica has also joined them as a result of her mother's zombie transformation. She was traumatized by having to kill her. Although everything appears to be out of control, according to the headlines, things are actually starting to look normal again. Zack visits Beth's and Maury's graves while Erica and his mother are taken to the cemetery by Zack's mother. On Beth's grave, he places her scarf. Zack then invites Erica out to supper after they go. She nods in agreement and beams as his mother drives them away. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.